Well, well, I'm trying something new here. And I didn't know why it chose to switch cameras on me. Let's see if we can switch it back. Hi there. Hi, everybody that's jumping on. You've joined Michelle Wright. I'm Michelle Wright with the Cowboys First Creative Cards.com. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to jump on my live. You got to let me know how it's looking because I will tell you Facebook came up with a new program and it said, What you're using is going away. So you need to start switching to this. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, they're changing the whole life program. So guess what? I'm trying it. Okay. So you let me know. I'm scared. I'm scared. I got to get these comments pulled up. See if you guys can see me. See if it looks clear. See if I can see myself. There I am. Thanks for spreading the news. Looking good. All right. Thank you for the congratulations, Marlene. Thank you very much. My team has grown and Marlene is on my team. She's one of my herd members. And um, I just kind of promoted up a little bit. So it's very exciting. The, the team is growing. So hello, everybody. Uh, as always, if you see the red live box up in the top left hand corner, you're watching me live. Thank you so much. Spread the moves with all your friends because we know everybody's home. So they might as well be watching us and learn how to make a cute little Tombow adhesive holder tonight. I say, yeah, I just had a little brainstorm. So I was just like, let me whip that out don't be scared it looks good okay Ooh, i was like who knows what's going to happen though so that's my disclaimer up front all right please feel free to discuss away down there um obviously i won't be able to mail one of these little cutie patooties to the person who's going to win by random draw on friday from the discussions here today but you can make them yourself but don't think i won't be giving something away because i'm feeling mighty generous and I'm going to give away a pack of Noble Peacock Rhinestones. Yeah, it'll come in a card. So Friday, I will draw the winner. So hopefully that excites you guys. Yes, yes, yes. Let me hold this up here for just a moment. It is the last day of the month. If you have not placed an order of $40 with me up to $149.99 and you would like to today, Use that hostess code and you will get my March customer appreciation. It's got all kinds of spring cards in the PDFs. Teach you how to make all those step-by-step -step instructions, supplies, everything. So, yeah, that's the hostess code. All right. So, I'm going to set things aside here as I, or otherwise I'm going to get confused. Nobody wants that. It is the last day you can join the herd. If you want to spend $99, if you've got $99 to spend, you're going to get $210 worth of items, you guys. You know, I'm all about keeping it real. You know me. I would never lead you down a path that is not correct. This, this is the It really is. And with this deal, you're going to get to pick $125 of products of your choice. You're going to get to select another stamp set of your choice up to $45 in value. So you can pick any stamp set with the exclusion of the host sets and celebration sets are not available. Okay. But you want to pick the most expensive stamp set for your free one and then put your other $125 worth of goodies together. You can pick them from the mini catalog and the annual catalog, the clearance rack. You pick whatever you want. You're going to receive a mini paper pack. Here's just a example of the papers you're going to get. Yeah, 48 six by six adorable papers. And this guillotine paper trimmer, stamping up a little mini paper trimmer, perfect for trimming photos and smaller pieces of scraps. You cannot buy this. You can only earn it in your starter kit for free. So you're going to get all that stuff for free in addition to the 125 that you pick and the free stamp set that you pick so you're going to get a past paper pumpkin kit it's going to ship to you for free the team's grown like crazy you have no obligation no you don't you can actually sign up you got to do it asap asap if you need help you just give me a call i will help you because this is the last day to get those items you don't want to wait till midnight tonight mountain time to do it 
or if there was a problem, okay? Also, in the description of this video, I want to remind you that uh, not only is this the de last day for celebration items, where with $50 purchase, you can pick a one of the items out of the $50 range for free, and then there's a $100 grouping. You can pick one of those items for free if you spend $100, or you can pick two of the 50. But this is also the last day for the coordination products, okay? That's the Nature Thoughts dies, the Special Day dies, the Ladybug dies, and the Sending Flower dies, okay? I have those links up there, so you can click right on them. If you want those coordinating items, grab them now. I also have a link up there for the 2018-20 end colors, all right? And that's what we're playing with tonight. We're playing with the end colors. So if you want to stock up on those before they're gone, the cardstock, the embellishment, the ink, the ink refills, very important, um, and the ribbon, you want to do that now. When you click that link I have in the description up there, it's going to take you straight to the page that shows you everything that's in the end color collection. So don't miss out on those. I'm going to tell you guys right now, you know I'm all about keeping it real with you. And I'm going to get myself a drink of root beer. Can you hold on? I know some of you guys miss out on things and you think, okay, well, I'll go out there and buy it from somebody like the ladybug dies or any of these other coordinating items. Because these are items that are not in our catalogs, they're special releases. Stampin' Up! demonstrators, even after they're gone, they cannot sell those for one year until they've retired and been retired for one year because they were not in a catalog, okay? So don't get stuck out there paying a fortune for something when you could just get it right now, okay? I got the link for you, made it easy, okay? I think I got all that done. Thanks everybody for spreading the news. Who is ready to make an adorable holder? I got some examples to show you. We're gonna make one together. We're gonna to put a second one together so you can see it from start to finish first. And then I'm gonna put a second one together just so we roll through it real quick again. It's super simple, but hopefully everyone has jumped over to the Cow Whisperers creative and sharing corral where we share and spread the mood or we share our inspirations and we get inspirations from others. And occasionally I have contests on there and I just gave away a stamp set. So that was a lot of fun, but I did a poll. And in that poll, I asked what was the favorite adhesive out there. And it was kind of across the board, but there was a strong favorite and that was the Tombow. And that's because it's got wiggle room and everyone loves it and it holds really well. So that made me think, hmm, you know what? I see these people that have those hard plastic Tombow holders. I need one of those. That's what I thought to myself. So I jump on Amazon because you know I am the Amazon queen. And they were priced anywhere from seven to ten dollars. And I was like, uh, no, not gonna happen. I can make something myself. So what did I do? I went out, looked on Pinterest, looked on YouTube, and yeah, I found some out there. Well, everything I was finding had two holes in it. And I'm all about valuable real estate on my crafting surface. You guys know I'm a little OCD. And I don't need a holder that's this big for two different Tombos. I use one Tombow at a time. So you know what I said to myself? I'm going to make my own. And I got busy. And then I'm going to show you what I had a light bulb moment with, and when I had the light bulb moment, the light bulb moment, I was like, holy mackerel, sometimes I freak myself out. So if you guys are ready, I'm going to flip you down. We're going to look at the one I made first, and then we'll get busy with what we're making tonight. So hold on to your drawers. You know the drill. Oh, I hope everything is working okay with this new, new light. It's making me very nervous. All right, that doesn't look too bad. Let's see. Get off there. Let's see. I feel like we might need to be just a tiny bit brighter. Okay, look at that. Isn't it cute? And I use the Over the Moon Cow. Now, I did put that up in the description. 
Yes, a shot glass would work, Linda. You are absolutely right. There's a lot of other options out there, but I wanted something cute. Very, very cute. And so that's why I came up with this. And if I get tired of it or wear it out, guess what? I know where I've got a lot more cardstock. I'll chunk it in the trash and make me another one. Mooey cute. So what I did was this is gorgeous great. And I used some of the um, is it Best Dressed Designer Series paper. Used the floral part. Thought that was so pretty. Did my little cow. Cut him out. Her out. And then my big thing was I don't want it tipping over. It needs to have some weight in it. Here's my light bulb moment. Are you ready? Because I was thinking, what in the world can I put in there? Because at first I thought, well, what about those little pebbles? You know, everyone has these little clear pebbles. And then I thought about, what about some washers? And I thought, oh my gosh, this is getting way too complicated. Guess what I decided on? I mean, it just popped into my head. Pennies. We all have pennies. We have more pennies than we want. Throw, throw some pennies in the bottom of that thing. And it ain't, isn't going anywhere. Yes. So let's talk about our end colors that are going away. I've got them all right here for you. I've got, call me Clover. Pineapple Punch. Grapefruit Grove. Blueberry Bushel. And Lovely Lipstick. And I'll tell you right off, lipstick and grapefruit grow or lovely lipstick and blueberry bushel are my two favorites. But these are very pretty colors. If you're into bright colors, these are your colors. All right. So here is what I made. I made three of them, and I used the cardstock. And the 2018-2020 in-color designer series paper. Yes, I did. So those are ready to go. All they need is to have a little, have a little few pennies dumped in them. Love the blueberry bushel, do you? Yeah. So who's ready? Who is ready to get started? I is, I is. So right off the bat. Let's make, we're going to start off with the one right off the bat in the lovely lipstick. And let me grab real quick another piece of lovely lipstick. So I just thought about something. So we'll do that. I hope everybody's staying in, staying safe. So let me tell you what you're going to need. You will need a piece of your cardstock of your choice that is seven and one quarters inch by five and a quarter. Seven and one quarter by five and one quarter. One of those. You're going to need a five coordinating pieces of paper. I've got the designer series paper here, also the lovely lipstick. And these little puppies are one and a half by one and a half square. All right. Hi, everybody. This jumped on the three in our trimmer. So what we're going to do is get that down here where I can see. And I need to get this out of my way. All right. We're going to do some scoring. Hope you guys have our new trimmer. I love the scoring tool on it as well as the super sharp blade. So we're, we've got the seven and a quarter inch side across the top, okay? So with that up at the top, we're gonna score it one and three quarter. And you, this will be taped so you can go back if you need to. One and three quarter, three and a half. five and a quarter thanks for spreading the moves and last but not least seven 
And there, there's an order in which you're going to want to do these things. So I'm doing it in the order that you want to do it. You can score either side first, but you'll see what I mean. Now turn it across where you've got the five and a quarter inch across the top. We're going to score at one and three quarters. And three and a half. We're making a box is what we're making. All right. We are done with our scoring. So we can set that aside. Now, right from the get-go, this little part right here, this little half an inch. Boy, that sure doesn't look like it's the right color. Let's see if we can take that color intensity down just a bit. That was a lot of glare going on there. Okay, let's take our paper snips right down here. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to just snip in on your middle piece just to the score line, and then we're going to remove both of these little edges, just going right up the score line, just like such. So if you guys want to write stuff down this time, then I'm going to do another one real quick. I've already got it scored. Okay, now from here, let's go ahead and burnish our score lines. And you want to burnish them really well. And you're going to understand what I'm saying about there's an order in which this needs to be done when we start putting it together. It'll all make a sense to you. So you just want to make sure everything's good and straight. Hi, everybody that's jumped on. Thanks for joining me. All right, so we've got that done, okay? So it's all nice and scored. Scored, 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 okay? Now, let's go ahead. Oh, we need to score this little piece. That's super important. Put that down. Let's do it. Turn it over that way and burnish it. Okay, now. We're going to cut up the edges on both sides, all right? And I like to do it like this so I can see what I'm doing really well. Super simple so far. Turn it around, do the same thing. We got people all over here today. all over the place i will tell you guys uh if you're placing an order and you want the 12 by 12 designer series paper that has the umbrellas and all that's sold out so that is already gone so and i'm sure other things will before the night's over so okay so we've got everything cut okay now this is very important the end in the middle that is opposite of our little tab is where we want to go ahead and put one of our designer series papers we want to do that now and i'm going to use the plaid side so what i'm using tonight the designs can go either way but if you're using wording you want to make sure that you put it on where it's going the right direction because if you'll look, I made sure that my smooth edges were on the front. So say like this one here. See how this has writing? I wanted my writing to be the correct direction all the way around. So that's very important. And I'm just giving that just a second to dry. Because it's important for that to dry. And then I'm bringing in, not that, I'm bringing in my one and one eighth scallop circle okay i'm gonna grab a post-it note and that's my sticky side and i'm just gonna punch that out where i've got some of the sticky on it and i'm gonna take that sticky side and i've got it down here and that's how i'm gonna find the exact center of where i want to 
punch again. Because once you get it in there, there is no way to really tell that you're in the center. All right. So that's why we wanted to get that piece on there. And you're going to have to use just a little ump. It's not too much. But remember, you are going through cardstock and designer series paper. Oh, and I punched a little of my. That yellow's just a glow one. There we go. Okay. So we got that done. Now, let's flip it over and we're going to put just a little bit of our Tombow. Don't go too crazy because you don't want it sticking to everything else. But you see how I folded that over? And now I'm going to fold this over and I need to hold that for just a second. But you don't want it, if you get too much, it's going to run out and go underneath here and we don't want that so i can kind of pop it up just a little to make sure and it's good is it all making sense to you guys so far now you see why i said there's an order in which this needs to be done and you know what i put the others together and yes you could go and mark on your paper which needs to go where that's that's Something you can do if you want to put all your designer series paper on first. I will tell you that when you do that, there is a possibility you could put one on going the wrong direction or fold the flap in incorrectly. Hmm, how would I know that? <laughs> so, that's where I glued it together. All right. That's going to be the back of my box. So, this is going to be the front of my box. So, I'm going to go ahead and flip these out. So I know if these are going to be my fronts, then I'm going to need to put my designer series paper here, here, and in the back. But what I want to go ahead and do, because these are my fronts, is I'm going to go ahead and glue it all together. And all I did, you notice I didn't even notch these when I cut them. A lot of times I'll just do a little bit of notching. Didn't even have to do that. So I brought the bottom up and then I'm going to bring that back in just want to kind of make sure you got everything good and square you can push it in hold it and then I'm going to bring my top down and you may decide you want the top the last piece I just wanted to be consistent so I'm just giving that a good little push. And then for my last, I'm going to actually put that on the flap itself. And make sure I'm good and square. Got a little glue happy there. now remember this was the front so this is the front so i took this up the bottom and because this is my front i'm going to bring the back in so it's the opposite you know the first one we pulled this one over so now we flipped it over so that may not be a big deal to you guys you may be like oh just slap it together you do it however you would like. And then I brought the top down. I'm holding it just a second, making sure I'm keeping it square and pinching it with my finger and my thumb. And then this is going to be my front one. Just like such. Just gonna hold it for just a second. Okay, so that's the front of my box. So you see how this is smooth, smooth, smooth? Yes, she likes her smooth. Now let's put our little designer series 
pieces on. They're designed to just have a little bitty border. How is Tim? Tim is doing pretty good. I will tell you that we have the sweetest young couple that lives not far from us. And early on, she reached out and said, hey, if you guys need anything, I know you're high risk. Just let us know. And, you know, I'm just one of those people I don't like to impose on anybody. And we've been doing our uh, grocery shopping through Walmart online. The town next to us has a Walmart. and But for some reason, and we had plenty. It's not like we were getting into a situation. But uh, we were. I thought it was time we needed some toilet paper. But they weren't allowing you to order that online. You have to go in. And I'm like, I'm not going in. I'm just not. It's one thing to for them to put it in your car and me disinfect everything and wash everything down and all that good stuff, but I'm just not going in. So I reached out to her and said, hey, I know. And you said just no rush. And she was such a sweetie. She she took care of us today. So there are precious people in this world, you guys. But Tim is doing okay. All right. There's one. There is one. But we got to decorate the front of it. Now, because I did my cow on this one, I was going to change it up tonight. You can do anything. If you've got flowers, you saw how I used the coordinating bows for these. I'm going to use the medium daisy punch. And we're going to punch a couple of the daisies out. Like that. And I'm going to curl them out, making sure I hold on to my petals so I don't rip them. Yes, yeah, she is a sweetheart. Yes, yes, yes. I went up to the gate and they pulled up and I took it and threw her some money and said, thank you, thank you, thank you. And now we're good. You know, I, I will never take advantage or for granted again being able to get what I want when I want it. How about you guys? It's kind of an eye opener, isn't it? Let me twist this around here and get it where I want it. That's good. It's not a problem if we can just pull up, but that going in was making me very nervous. I got that done. That is done. Now, let's... This is the perfect time to use the clear faceted gems. I think these are beautiful, but honestly, you guys, to me, they are, they are really thick to put in a card. So... I'm going to go with a big one. I'm usually going to use my little spatula thing if I can get it off here. Oh, but I think for a 3D project, they're perfect. Love it. So now let's grab some glue dots. There you go, Jill. You make you some because they're cute. And then, you know what? If we want to change it up, we'll change it up. That's what I thought. I'm going to use mine. And I don't use the whole... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, I had it upside down. Everyone needs to calm down. <laughs> I was like, wait, how did I miss that? That's the bottom. All right, let me find my front again. This is my front. Oh, that medium daisy is the perfect size. Look at that. I wish the color was better. It's making me grouchy. It's making me grouchy. The sun's going down. You never know what it is. Let's see if that helps. Yeah, that helped a little bit. Turn one of those lights off. What do y'all think? All right, we're going to put one more together. 
quickly so you'll see in real time how fast it goes together all right so i've already scored it okay so remember our score lines our paper is seven and a quarter by five and a quarter on the long way we scored it one and three quarters three and a half five and a quarter and seven turn it on the five and a quarter side you score one and three quarters three and a half you like that little cheat sheet i have there okay we're going to come in and we're going to snip cut that and you can actually go ahead and cut your edges now if you want personally i like to do all of my score lines before i cut it's just easier for me we all have our own way but i'll just tell you for me burnishing when it's not cut because then i don't run the chance of ripping something that's been cut no nance all of my facebook lives i give all the instructions as i go along and it's recorded that way you can go back and you can pause it and uh, if you need to and recreate or pause it to write it down so there we go got that all done okay now remember this is where we're going to come in with our post-it notes and our one and one eighth scallop punch gonna grab that and it's the opposite end of the one that has the tab oh wait we've got to put our glue on I almost had a, a moment I went with the plaid for both of them because I thought that almost was too much of a washout hardly any paper products huh Oh, like toilet paper and paper towel. I think that's happening everywhere. I sure do. So I need to put this on here. This would be a fun little gift to make, though, for some of your crafting buddies. It would. So see why you don't want to seal this up yet? Because you've got to be able to get in here and punch this it's important there is a method to my madness oh i love hearing that so we're just going to go back in good punch Get my little yellow pieces off for my that is some awesome uh post-it notes i'll tell you what all right now now we're going to fold over our little tab over put a little bit of our adhesive remember don't go crazy fold it over and hold it Get out of here, you yellow. I'm gonna hold that down for just a second, read some comments. Yeah, you know, Tim laughs at me because if we get down to 24 rolls of to toilet paper, well, when you live in the country, I'm like, we need toilet paper. He's like, oh my gosh, how much toilet paper does one person need? Well, guess what? I guess he's happy now. You know what? I'm gonna take my eraser and because I feel like I of those I even kind of kind of messed up my little blue right there it'll all be good all right so this oh guess what did you see what i did wrong there did you see it did you notice it were you screaming no i didn't cut it 
Well, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Have you guys ever heard that saying? That could be an Oklahoma thing. I'm just squeezing it and cutting it now. Oh, my. And you know what? I did the same thing when I was making one of the other ones. And I thought, whew, I need to be careful not do that on live. <laughs> ah, it's all good, right? Look. Look what you learned from me. Squeeze that thing close and just cut up to that first score line. That actually be easier for you. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you guys, I cracked myself up. Were you? Were you screaming? Michelle. So, all right. This is the front. So let's go ahead. So I don't get confused. And let's go ahead and put our front one down. Because it could happen. Right? Did I not just prove that? Anything could happen. And because I said I want these to be my front tabs, why don't we go ahead and put those down too? <laughs> I don't know if that is a uh, southern thing but that's something i've said my whole life and some people would be so offended by it and you're like it's just slang it just means there's more than one way to do something everything is not so personal i'm an animal lover to the max and i just i don't even i don't know all right so and then we know our last one's going to go right there so let's put her down See there, we're, we're all kind of, most of us are all of the same age. So we all understand. All right. So now I put this one together totally different. Look at that. See? So we know these are the fronts. So we want to start with the bottom. That's what I did. Bringing this side one in, giving it a good push, making sure it's flush. Top. Let's make sure we get enough down here in this corner, though. I'm going to hold that for just a second. You can always take your bone folder. Okay. And then this is our front panel. So you really want to make sure you get plenty on here and get it all the way up to the edges. So it's going to hold. Bring it around and hold it. Push that down. You never heard that, Marlene? No, I did not get the ornate garden set yet. I did not. I will have a post on that Tuesday uh, with the examples and things. But I will tell you that I'm, I'm kind of like you guys. I've got to pick and choose what items I get. And uh, I, I did not get that one yet. So we're going to bring up the bottom. I've seen a lot of pretty creations with it, though. Yes, I have. All right, so and so now remember we're coming in from this side this time because that's my front. <laughs> good, Jean. Good, good, good. This farm girl likes hearing that. Because I could say, you know what? You can get glad in the same pants you got back in. Who heard that growing up? <laughs> or how about get your fanny, you can get your fanny over that dashboard. You can get it off as fast as you got it on. Oh, yeah, I heard them all. Does that mean I had an attitude? I don't know. <laughs> My last one, which is the front. What? Barb said one? I missed it. 
Let me see. Oh, Barb, Barb got the ornate garden. She says it's awesome. I missed your comment, Barb. It was probably, I want to know if it's one I heard. So let's go ahead and bring in, let me put my adhesive up. And let me just go ahead and stick it in there. Let's bring in our daisy punch. And this is the blueberry bushel. Let's go ahead and curl them up. Hold those stems at the base. Or you'll be, he loves me, he loves me not. And you'll be having a wall-eyed hissy fit. <laughs> Nobody wants to be having a wall-eyed. See, I could have had a wall-eyed hissy fit about everything that I messed up tonight. Guess what? You know what? Nobody cares. We're all run dumb, running around in our pajamas all day. <laughs> Here, I need some of this. Oh, I'm killing myself. A little adhesive. Back in there. Put it on there and then it lets me twist it where I want it. Yep, you can get glad of the same pants you got mad in. I can assure you that was said to my son on more than one occasion. Or, I brought you into this world, I can take you out. I know there's a lot of mamas out there that, yeah, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They knew better. And we raised good ones for that very reason, because we didn't put up with nothing. That's the front of my box. <laughs> yeah, I have a full blown come apart. <laughs> oh, you have hissy fits and come aparts all the time. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Look, you guys, we got all kinds of cuteness going on here. What you think? So cute, so simple. Scratch that mad and get glad. Oh, I love the hearts. All right. Okay, you guys, hold on. I'm going to flip you up and around. Woo-wee, I'm doing all kinds of crazy things. Well, so it looks like that everything worked out with the new live thing. Who knows if it'll be here next week when I get on. It can change. You guys know how that is. But make sure that you check back on Friday. And uh, I'm going to I said someone's going to win some of uh, rhinestones, some of the noble peacock rhinestones. And of course, I'll send it in a card to one lucky winner, winner that my computer random drawer selects. I hope you guys, oh, I love all the hearts. I hope you guys have taken the opportunity to, you know, jump over. Just you can type in the Cow Whispers Creative and Sharing Corral to pop up. You just have to submit. There are guidelines that you need to follow. Please do so. And uh, I'll approve you. And yeah. There's super, super cute cards being put on there. The bigger we get, the more and more and more we'll have shares and the more uh, challenges I'll put out there. But that's where my idea for tonight came from. So I'm glad you guys are here. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you have plenty of toilet paper and food and uh, you're staying healthy. So I am going to... Say Savannah has come home. I'm sending you hugs and kisses from the Scott Farm. If you want anything from Celebration, it's your last day. If you'd like to join the herd, I would love to have you. It's the last day to get the great deal. Don't forget to get the nation products either. Everything is up in the description up there in the top. Bye, guys. Have a great night.